hello everybody welcome to my channel welcome if you're returning welcome if you're new my name is blue this reading is about to be for career and finances specifically for fire signs aries leo sagittarius someone rising in venus so if you have those placements this will probably resonate with you like comment share and subscribe for me please and let's just get right into it doing another car vlog y'all know i hate vlogging in the car why am i saying vlog this is a reading okay let me just get my life together child so this is how we're going to do the career and finance since it's my first time doing this i'm going to do like an overall general message for the fire signs and then we'll hop into you guys individually so everybody can get their own time but we're going to do blessing messages first surrounding that part of your life and then we'll start with aries so the first card that comes out for fire signs is the Hindu divine mother lifts you when you fall, cradles you when you cannot go on, and sends you forth when it is time to move forward. Know that they are watching over you, for you are beloved. So fire signs, immediately there's already an energy of kind of like depression for some, anxiety for some, just feeling like I don't even want to do this no more. I'm just kind of over this just a period of not wanting to work not wanting to like be burdened with career or finances in some aspect it's just like something is becoming a little bit too much or trying to like balance and juggle everything just feels like it's a weight crushing type of pressure um some of you guys could be in school and you know you're trying to make your parents proud you're trying to make yourself proud you're trying to reach your goals and it's just the energy of like <laughs> i need a motherfucking vacation i need a break i just need a minute like really and so i feel like right now the universe is sending you just like extra energy an extra an extra hug okay an extra boost of like motivation right now we also have the eclipse coming up on april 20th so this could be too why a lot of us are feeling very sluggish it does go both ways either you're going to feel like very driven or you'll feel very very tired it's no in between so right now um fire signs for those of you who are feeling a little bit like sluggish on that side of the fire energy you're getting like an upgrade just kind of stay in uh your motivation bag because within the next few weeks this sluggish energy should clear up for a lot of us okay but yeah if you're just kind of feeling like down about life right now and how things are going and the speed in which they're going fire signs i promise things are going to pick up for you and also too um with this time to move forward it's almost a sense of redirection too because some of you guys may not have been aligned which could also be why you're feeling very tired right or maybe you're just not um, acting on something that the universe is trying to give to you. So they're trying to show you something or push you forward into another direction. So the next card that we have is when starry moonlit Egyptian goddess comes to you, she ensures your soul's journey into sleep will be blessed even into the next lifetime. So some of you guys could definitely be just trying to make a name for yourselves. You're trying to set this foundation up for an empire. It's like you want to make sure that your kids, 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 kids is good, right? This is that type of energy. So fire signs, you guys don't feel so much like, um, you know, you're trying to make it to point A to point B. It's like you're trying to make it to A to point Z. And this could be another reason why some of y'all are feeling a little bit burnt out it's just like okay you guys have big goals big dreams big plans and a lot of that is going to take time so just try to remember to kind of like harness your energy and not let like things get to you or certain ideas or ideologies or time frames that you have get to you because um the the important message here is that you know you're going to be blessed in your sleep. Some of y'all are trying to figure out how you can make money in your sleep. It's like you just don't want to have to work hard or you just want your goals to manifest. So you have to be patient with that process. It's not going to happen overnight if you're trying to get the letter Z, okay? And I know some people are just trying to get to B. They're trying to get to G. They don't have big dreams and goals like yours, okay? So when you're seeing things manifest for other people, just know you guys are not on the same level or you're not at least trying to be. So the next card that we have is be blessed by her initiation and know that you are a being of creativity, all right? So some of you guys are definitely trying to create. Some of you guys could be into the arts or you're just trying to like switch up your career path. It's almost like you're getting really creative with how you can make money or how you can pursue a dream or a goal right now, especially with your current circumstances is what I'm hearing. So some of you guys could have kids or you just have a very busy, overwhelming schedule maybe health issues or just like something else is kind of playing a part into why you are having a hard time creating something or manifesting something even if this is your own fears or blockages you know um 444 is on the clock right now so i just feel like 
if you're not sure let the universe guide you for a little bit okay don't try to force anything or don't try to like manipulate uh getting into a, a different path at this time the last card that we have is you are blessed with the combination of belief and wisdom all right so i see a lot of you guys praying a lot of you guys just trying to kind of like you know be optimistic especially sagittarius i know you guys are good for that energy um some of you guys could be dealing with a pisces or working with a pisces to kind of make your dreams come true at the moment all right, so let's just hop right into Aries energy. Hello, Aries, my loves. This is going to be a reading, a reading for a career in finance for Aries. Sun, rising in Venus. I'm hearing like a tension. I'm hearing that song Steppers by um, ESTG, or I don't even know who sings that song, child. Or it's not even a singing song. It's a rap song, but I'm hearing that like somebody is about to do their big one i mean this is aries season so you guys are definitely in your own element at this time but aries energy is just giving like big you're doing something big you're doing it big period it's like you're about to put something out or you're about to kind of like get yourself into something that is like big okay you got big plans some of you guys are like throwing a party and i know this is career and finance but i'm just seeing like a really big event a really big stadium a really big venue something just big all right, Aries, so let's see what's coming out for you guys for career finance. The first card that we have here is new ride, upgrade. Okay, so some of you guys are definitely about to get a new car. I'm hearing Audi. I'm hearing like um, something luxury, okay? Something that's going, some of y'all are getting like electric cars or cars where, or you just could be doing like um, repairs to your car that are like a little bit more expensive than the original model actually was. It's just kind of like, I'm hearing pimp my ride. Oh Lord, okay. So some of y'all, I feel like you're getting ready to buy a new car, but you don't want like a Honda or nothing like that. You could be thinking about getting a new car. This is on your mind. If you're not actually thinking about doing it, it's just a thought in the back of your head, like, damn, I need a new car soon. So we have luck is on your side. Okay, Aries, yeah. So again, we are in your season. So of course, Aries is getting ready to have um, some windfalls coming in especially um because i know jupiter just moved into a different side so um check your jupiter sign but some of you guys might be like aries risings or something like that and jupiter is literally like getting ready to bring you like this abundance or this type of um lottery just like just things are coming out of nowhere so we have think rich and wealthy yeah this is your mindset calling all the steppers to the front get ready for the show we always number when we at the front. So yeah, it's just kind of like, Aries, you guys right now are kind of thinking about ways to like be out in the forefront or to really get your name recognized. Some of you guys are doing photo shoots at this time or you're like doing promo for like a business or even if you are like at a corporate job, it's like, I don't know, y'all are like competing for like the boss's favorite spot or something like that. This just kind of gives like, you know, bow, I'm hearing Bow Down by Beyonce now. So whatever y'all have going on, I feel like there's going to be a lot of new income to your bank account. Your savings is going to be replenished. And there's just the energy of like, people are going to have to see you. Okay, they're just going to have to see you. I don't know if they, if they like tried to block you or something, but you still popping up on people's timelines. Okay, somebody also could be gifting you a car. This could be an issue for somebody else that's around you, but I just feel like because you're thinking like positively about your financial circumstances, good things are manifesting behind that, okay? So let's see what's coming out in tarot for Aries with finances and career, please. Ooh, so we have the three of pentacles, yeah. So somebody could definitely be uh, supporting you guys financially. This could be a sugar daddy or just like um, donations, gifts, gifts. I'm here at Umar Johnson. <laughs> donations, gifts, gifts. Like, But again, it's your birthday season. So yes, this could be like a birthday party event or like, you know, just a lot of gifts or something of that nature. Like somebody could be gifting somebody a car at their birthday party, child. They about to pop out, like come outside for a second and the car's gonna be sitting out there with a big red bow on it. This feels like that. I feel like, yeah, oh my God, somebody's like literally dreamed about something or manifested something and then like here it is. Okay, this is really cute. So we have the nine of wands. So I feel like right now with the support of others or the guidance of others, Aries, it's like you're getting out of this nervous or anxious mindset surrounding your career and finances. It's like maybe a couple of months or weeks ago, you was just kind of like, fuck, like, <laughs> how am I going to pull this off or how am I going to do this? Or, you know, I've got like more people to support right now or I've got other things I kind of want to branch into. I don't know how the hell I'm going to make this happen, but 
you're making it happen with the seven of wands hard work so this next season of your life Aries is going to be a little bit more work than it was the last few weeks yes but I feel like it's not without reward or it's not without purpose whenever you're putting your energy into Aries I feel like you guys are going to kind of see that double back immediately if not like very soon this is not going to take months and years for your manifestations to kind of like come out so if you guys are putting out a business or something you're going to see like a lot of support a lot of people like just like oh my goodness congratulations or i'm so happy for you and like you are getting attention this is so cute okay so let's move on to aries oh why did i just say that twice <laughs> okay aries that's enough attention for you all i meant to say leo hello leo someone rising in venus let's kind of see what's coming up for leo in career and finances i don't know why i'm starting to smile <laughs> hi leo someone rising in venus let's see what's coming up for you in career and finance okay so the first card that we have coming out is money munchers they're eating all of your bread okay leo so who are you housing or who are you like taking care of that is literally burning a hole in your pocket I feel like there's something that you guys are spending your money on that's just kind of like the universe is like now leo don't you go digging in your pocket let them figure it out for themselves let them do that for themselves or don't you go spending your money on that right now some of you guys could have like a habit that's kind of like burning a hole in your pocket or you just got like a bad shopping addiction okay we have perfect time to invest all right yeah so the, i feel like the universe right now is giving leo handouts and it's literally for you to invest in something that you need to be doing for yourself and you know this so if you get like twenty dollars if you find twenty dollars walking down the street you better not not go buy no mcdonald's child put that up because this is for a reason like i feel like spirit is right now trying to get you like to connect the dots or they're like filling in the blanks for you so that you can get from one phase to another but you do have to be mindful of distractions or like uh potholes along the way it almost feels like um some of you guys are um swerving potholes or swerving ditches at this current time where you need to be anyway all right we got four cards for leo we'll take all of them though you're about to land a badass job or position. Ooh, okay. So this too could be also a situation where um, you need to save your money up because you're about to get a new job and you're gonna need gas to get there or gas for the interview or you need to save your money because you're gonna need um, to buy something that's going to have you looking good, feeling good or just available to be in the spot that you need to be when this blessing comes up. So make sure that you guys are um, investing in yourselves right now. You're getting your hair done, uh, your clothes, all of that. You're doing everything you need to do so that when the opportunity comes, you're already prepared and you're not like scrounging around. We have study, do your homework. Yeah, cause y'all, y'all are in preparation mode. I don't care what anybody says. It, it might feel like it's slow for you right now, Leo, but if you've been seeing like a lot of like synchronicities, or just like having random ass things happen to you that like are small but really good this is a build-up like you're literally climbing the ladder right now don't ever take for granted that just because the whole package hasn't arrived yet that the bits and pieces are not also trying to get you to where you're supposed to be every little thing that's happening to leo energy right now is for like a big event that's about to come i feel um excited doing you guys this reading it just kind of feels like ominous or it just feels mysterious i feel like this is pissing some of y'all off so where it's just like fuck like can we just get to the point no leo be patient be patient you're doing your homework or you're learning how to do something in due time is what i'm hearing so we have the ace of coins coming up here's that brand new opportunity coming out who also got the ace of pentacles it was libra or aquarius i think it was aquarius so some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. We also have Libra energy coming out now with the Queen of Swords. So it's just like, yeah, you guys, I feel like you guys are studying something or planning something. It's like you're waiting for the right time to execute or you're you're getting a due date or a start date or like a deadline for yourself. It's just like, all right, I'm going to drop this or I'm going to put this out. Or I'm going to do this April 20th or, you know, I'm going to I'm going to put this out right after the eclipse or whatever the hell the case may be. It's like you guys are literally being set into a position to, um be ready for something point blank period that's just what is given okay uh we also have the seven of pentacles yeah so after you get the start of this new beginning 
it is going to be something that you can work on long term or that you're going to be invested in long term this actually feels really good i feel like you're actually going to have like a mentor help you this could be a feminine energy or someone that's putting you on or they're holding your hand and guiding you through the process it's just kind of like okay come with me you know i'm going to show you the ropes some of you guys may have a new job and your boss is like an air sign woman or if she's not an air sign, it's just a feminine energy that's very kind. And I feel like she's kind of helping you turn like an ace of coin into a seven of pentacles. A, a ace of pentacle into a seven of pentacles. It's like something is accumulating or growing over time or it's becoming a lot more abundant over time. So nice, Leo. Just keep at it. Keep doing your homework. See how you can improve whatever it is that you're working on or how you can um, make the most of a good opportunity or a good situation. Cute. Okay. So, uh... Um, if some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, I'm almost inclined to say, um, be careful, Leo, of air signs munching your money right now. Okay, that's for some of you. You got an air sign that you know is always like, hey, can I, can I borrow, can I borrow? Well, no, you can't. Not right now. <clears throat> I know Leos are very generous. They're very giving, but this is not the time. <clears throat> All right. Just wait a few months or something like that. That you can go back to being generous in a couple months. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be for Sagittarius. Hi, Sag, baby. Aww. Aww. Okay, Sagittarius. I don't know what y'all are doing, but this is so cute. I feel like your energy surrounding career and finances is just very, like, I don't know. I want to say the word nurturing. It's something like, uh, just like, okay, let's just see. Some of y'all have something that you're working on and that project is literally your baby. Like, you're just like, you wake up at two o'clock in the morning and, and you're checking something or you wake up at like five o'clock in the morning and you're like checking something that has to do with money. Okay, this could be a bank account, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. All right, so the first card that we have coming on for Sagittarius is this situation will bear fruit. Who got this card? Aquarius? Okay. So you guys are definitely doing something right now that's very productive or it's bringing you a lot of like good vibes. I don't know. It's just like, yeah, I like this for me. I love this for me. When you look back at it or when you look into the mirror, Sagittarius, I feel like y'all are very, very fucking confident. Like it's just the energy of kind of like, damn, I did that. Like I really fucking did that. I can't even believe I did that. Like, damn, that's amazing. Um, somebody else could be looking at your content or whatever you are doing right now and they feel this way about you. Like, sheesh. They really just did that. I feel like somebody who was doubting you or just kind of like counting you out or, you know, they already knew you had juice, but they didn't know you had juice like that. Like, you know, you are really making something manifest like and it's coming together so freaking nicely. Don't have ass shit. Give 110 percent. Yeah. Sagittarius right now. Y'all are in big dog energy. I don't even feel like this is a um, I mean, it could be a cautionary or like uh, a message of advice for some of you but i already feel like you guys have this energy on you because this is just what it's giving energetically you're giving 110 percent like you already are giving something you're all and you're seeing how it's manifesting for you in real time and it's just like okay i like this because once i put myself out there or once i do this this way i see immediate results or i see the uh, the admiration or the attention or the affection that i'm getting so I feel like your job and your career right now, some of you guys, if you are working like a nine to five job, like the people on your job, they fucking love you. And if you are like doing something um, more entrepreneurial, you're just getting a lot of admiration. I feel like somebody is just kind of like heart eyes, heart eyes. I see people putting a lot of heart eyes and flame emojis on your comments. So we have stop overspending. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. So somebody is a little hype here. I mean, as you should be, I feel hype doing your reading, but still, um, just make sure that you guys are being wise about uh, how you're spending your rewards or how you're kind of like reaping benefits here. Uh, I'm hearing don't let something get to your head or don't get too comfortable. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Lil Wayne, Comfortable. Baby girl, don't you ever get too comfortable. Now, this could also be why 110% is popping up too because it's kind of like the energy of like, you know, something starts working out for you and then like you're like, okay, cool. I did that. Now I can stop. No, the fuck you can't. Keep going, baby. No, the fuck you can't. Keep going. Somebody is like, yeah, Sagittarius, you should take a break or you deserve a trip or you, I mean, you do. I'm not trying to say that you don't. <laughs> we have the three of cups coming out, but at the same time, don't forget why you started something or don't forget like your end goal, your end all be all goal. 
so we have the three cups coming out here i feel like you guys are again getting a lot of attention a lot of support you guys are definitely going to like after parties or like you're going to events where like people know people or you're somebody what what's that saying somebody who's anybody is there or something like that this kind of gives that energy or you're just cultivating your own fucking i'm hearing mafia what the hell is this a cult it's like you're cultivating your own fan base or your own um network okay or your own label for some of you guys it's like you're trying to be self-made or whatever it is that you're creating you want your name on it and only your name on it okay so we have the three of swords so just be very mindful again of kind of like um how you're executing things and who you're executing them with okay uh I'm kind of seeing okay so here's a message Sagittarius that if you're going to be doing a group project or if you're going to be working with people oh the justice card in reverse I didn't even realize that if you're going to be working with people right now make sure that they're on their shit don't bring slackers on board with you because you could be like you know trying to collaborate or like build something financially and career wise and then you're realizing the people that's on your team they ain't shit or they are very lazy um you know or maybe you just don't need to be working with nobody right now okay we got the king of cups i'm saying like there's one person in particular in the situation is very very passionate about something especially if you're at a a, a work setting i'm kind of getting that there could be like a, a slacker on your team or somebody who like overspends money like crazy here i'm getting libra energy scorpio energy taurus energy aries energy so just be mindful of that sagittarius uh, be mindful who you bring on your team and also be mindful of your own energy now if this is a, a case where you feel like you're tired and you need a break that's totally different just you know communicate that whenever you need a break but you know just be mindful of like being used in a sense or like doing most of the work and giving somebody else credit for the shit you know so i hope that this reading helps my loves i love you guys fire signs and i hope that you guys have an amazing week bye